And we are back, streaming some Elden Ring. Uh, and we are gonna head to the capital. Oh, there are a bunch of people guarding this place, as well as some bosses. Ow. Ow. This guy's not a boss, I'm just bad at fighting him. Ow. Oh god, that one like right through my neck. They really don't want you to get into this city. It's like it's the uh, last still standing city in the lands between and they want to protect it or something. Oops. Yeah, keep your bow out. Good job. Definitely don't switch to a sword when I'm a foot in front of you. So, we got our three knights we beat. Can't be anything worse than that up here, right? Oh, look, it's something worse. <laughs> Hair of freaking tree knights or tree sentinels. And for this guy from the very beginning of the game where one of them kills the player character over and over and over. <laughs> and now we're fighting two. Ow. Luckily though, much stronger now than the Ow. <laughs> I say as my horse gets chopped out from under me. My mimic tier was wrecking that other guy. I have to farm some more uh, golden foul feet pretty soon. Ow. <laughs> if I mimic tier on a horse, he might have killed this guy before I killed mine. Hey, we got a hero's ruin. A really big, ugly shield. And here we are in the outer wall of the capital. Different than the outer wall that we were at before when we were over here and we fought uh, fake market. That was kind of like a side entrance. This is the main entrance that you're supposed to take. Last charges. I think we're still good with two for the other one. I don't really use it that much other than to do my little spinny attack. I'm trying to remember where, somewhere around here, there is a one of those giant worm dragon things as like a roaming boss. also a gargoyle, but I don't want to fight the gargoyle yet. I want to find this thing first. Set it up there. No, that's worms. Or slugs, whatever. You want to... Yeah, slugs. I know animals. Okay, tree dragon thing is not over here. Maybe we have to walk past. I swear you can run into it with that, like by spraying off the path, but maybe I'm just remembering wrong. Sheep.
The sword tossing things into the air will never not be funny. Well, that one didn't get tossed. It's a bully grease. Oh, maybe it's up here. Maybe it like pops out on the way to this place. I guess here's some uh, tree pole. Is it around here? No, it's not weird. I just cannot remember where the uh, big root dragon is. Ooh, hey, we got the golden order seal. Which we are probably either too stupid or too faithless to use. Let's see. We're both <laughs> too stupid and too faithless to use. Not just one, but both. If we got any, I don't think we have any Melina. Oh, no, we do. Melina. Spoken you tell me about this poor, awful place. America linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? America's own words. I declare mine intent to search the depths of the Golden Order through understanding of the proper way. Our faith, our grace, is increased. Those blissful early days of blind belief are long past. My comrades, why must ye falter? Interesting. Oops. Is there anything behind this church? It's, it's got a window. Just a tree guy hanging out. I swear that, uh, whatever the heck, the. I can never remember. Ulcerated tree spirit, that's it. Ulcerated tree spirit, that's what the tree dragons are called. Uh, but I could have sworn there was one that, like, popped up around here, but I guess not. So we'll just go fight a gargoyle instead. But did I see a... I saw one of those little funeral cars over there. Yes, I did. Let's get whatever's in that. Oh, there's the... Okay. I'm not crazy. It does spawn. It's just over here. Also, that guy is in for a world of... <laughs> 599 damage. Dear God, dude. Nothing's mad. I knew that thing was around here somewhere. I like this. There's not many spots in this game where you can fight one of these on a horse. Ow. Oh, he's not a boss, that's why I can't see his health. He's just like a normal res non-respawning enemy. Ow. Oh, God, that secondary explosion actually got me. I was not expecting that. Meanwhile, my mimic tier is perfectly fine. I don't think that even staggered him. Okay, well at least I know where that is now. So I had like 60,000 souls, so got to go grab those real quick. This little idiot with the torch in here is going to try to fight this thing again. Let's see. Oh, no, it just landed on him and killed him directly this time. I wonder if it was supposed to do that last time. Where are my souls? There they are.
Oh wow, you're chasing me pretty far, huh? I thought I could get some distance in some of my guy, but maybe not. Oh, I can't summon him this far out. How come you can come out here, but I can't summon out here? Oh, I just summoned the wrong thing. Well, I guess we're fighting with wolves. I have no idea what he's doing. I can't see. <laughs> there we go. really need to, now that they've shown with Shatter the Erd Tree that they can create an item that makes your horse stronger, they need to add a version of that to the base game. Ow. Uh, I couldn't get his visceral attack because I was recovering from my own dumb thing. Wolves are actually doing some work and all three of them are still alive. I was not expecting that. Hey, we got a gold seed. And let's see what this thing's got in it. Oh, the giant crusher. That's a fun hammer. Strength. Amber made from a boulder used in the war against the giants, one of the heftiest weapons in the entire land between. After the giants were quelled and man turned against man in violence, this weapon was all but forgotten. Let's see how big this Oh my god. <laughs> it's like the Kirk Hammer from Bloodborne, but on steroids. So ridiculously big. Okay. 70k. I need more than that. I think I need like 90 something to level up now. So that's not going to do me any good. But once we beat the... Uh, there's a gargoyle up here. Killing him should get us a level up, I think. Actually, maybe if I can do it before my owl foot wears off, which I probably can't, so I'm probably going to have to waste another one of those. Should let me summon when we get close to him. Yep. There is he. He jumps down from somewhere. There he is. Oh, he flies entirely out of the sky. Okay. Oh, he's kicking my ass. Go get him, McKear, you got this. Yes, we got him before the power we're at four off. Oh, but he does not give you much. I guess because he's not technically a boss gargoyle, he's just a regular gargoyle. Which, that's kind of annoying. We're not getting a level up out of that because even with the foul foot on, he gave us like a thousand freaking souls. Come on, turret, you can do it. Uh, nope, nothing up there. All right. Another tree. And we're at the other entrance. That's where we fought fake Margit like five streams ago. Did 
out of here. You guys aren't allowed in this city. Oh, this guy has a torch. I was going to say, how is he hurting my horse so bad? That's right. Torrent is massively allergic to fire. Oh, right, we can't go in that way, I forgot. Forgot, forgot. We have to be sneaky. I'm going that way. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, or not. Okay, awesome. Ooh, that guy's got a treasure chest. Give me that. Wonder in 12. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Oh, hey, a troll. He's minding his own business. I don't know why we're fighting this guy. I just want souls. Oh, wow, my horse is almost dead. There you go, buddy. He didn't give that much less than the frickin' gargoyle did. Okay, yeah, so we have to go basically the same path we did when we went to talk to uh, Blackguard a few streams ago. Just this time we can actually enter the city. Which I think we could have before, but I didn't want to Spend the time to fight the gate boss. Because I'm almost positive that I had two great runes. The last time we were here, I think I had three. I think I had Radon, Ranala, and uh, what's his face? Grafty McGee. Godric. Does always remind me of the uh, robots from Castle in the Sky. Something about like the design of them, like how big and gangly they are. Especially when you see the broken ones. I love the armor on this guy's horse. With the skeleton dragon armor. And the little things like holding his reins look like dragon wings. Oh. Right, that's hit scan. Forgot about that. Can't actually dodge that one that way. I think if I... nope. That still doesn't fully dodge it. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> that was the worst time for me to stop to heal. I forgot that he can chain those because the horse can attack after he attacks without having him... He doesn't have to, like, reset his animations because it's different attacks. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to need those, like, 80,000 souls back, please. 
You can fight this guy while I go get them. Thank you. Okay, Mimic here, you got this. No, you're going the wrong way, Mimic here. Go fight him. There you go. Doing great. Okay, we should probably go help. And that to me or the tier? Tier. Oh, wow, that just my one second under me. Oh god. There we go, 65k. That's the kind of runes I've been wanting to get. That's what a boss in this area should be giving. Though, then again, I guess technically neither of those last two guys were bosses. They were just not respawning enemies. It looks like we're doing strength. And we're already halfway to the next one. Yeah, this is our little sneaky side entrance. When we get up here, we can actually finally finish a box quest. Just have to get to the ramparts. This is cool. I always love how FromSoft does these reveals. Like you see the tree first. Then you see that build like a they're just always so good about when you're going into a new area, just opening up the vista in front of you of it. You see this, and then as you walk this way, you see like the hypers, and I thought you could see the dragon from here, but you can't. It is just very cool when they do these views like this. So if we rest here, Bach should spawn. Oh, and Melina. Oh, right, because we're inside the city now. Thanks for bringing me to the base of the Erd Tree. Here, I can govern my own movement, and thus, the accord is fulfilled. I shall depart to ascertain the purpose I was given. Farewell. I shall leave Torrent and the power to turn runes into strength here with you. I wish you luck in realizing your ambition. You have fought long and hard. I have no doubt you will become Elden Lord. May you take the throne. Right. We completed her thing of, hey, take me to the base of the tree, and now we got Bach. Lock the seamster at your service, my lord. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Did you see it? My lord, did you see it? The, the earth tree. I, oh, oh, you I can see it from literally anywhere in this entire country, oh, dude. Was so... It's a 10,000 so foot tall glowing I golden tree. Something stir in my breast. <laughs> the Erd tree is waiting for you, my lord. I know it, I do. I feel it in my bones. Oh, please, take the throne of Elden Lord. 
Have you ever thought so? My lord, have you ever wished you might be born again? Well, they say that Renala of Rhea Lucaria has the power to help people be reborn. Oh, me? Reborn? Oh, look at me. When you're this ugly, well, being reborn, it would hardly make a difference, I'm afraid. So at this point, we can give him a larval tear uh, and he would take it to Renala and she'd make him into a human. But we're Can not going to do that. Ready, my lord. Well, please do be safe on your journeys. Because if we look at uh, Renala's rune that we got, her great rune. Children born anew by Renala are frail and short-lived, imperfect beings each and all. So if we were to allow him to be reborn, he ends up dying like right after that. So instead, we are going to use this prattling pate that we found a while back. Twisted clay sculpted in the shape of a demi-human head emits a voice saying you're beautiful, a wistful fetish that imparts voices and words on an eternal journey, unconditional love, unrestrained assurance. It must have been a mother speaking. So we're going to use that. You're beautiful. Bok the seamster at your service, my lord. Ready to make adjustments. To I heard a voice. Did I just hear my mum speaking. Thank you very much. Mum was always the only one who said I was beautiful. And now, my dear lord, let me. I don't hear think he looks voice. that bad. He's kind of like ugly oh, cute. Please. If I may dream just once, do you feel the same way my mum did, my lord? Do you think I'm beautiful despite these looks? Yeah, definitely, dude. You have a beautiful soul, which is honestly so much better than just being, like, physically attractive. Because you can be physically attractive and still be a dick, but Bach is just generally a good person, so yes, I agree. <laughs> With your mom, you are a beautiful oh, person, Bach. My lord, my dear lord, I, Bach the seamster, am forever in your service. May the throne of Elden Lord be yours. Going already, my lord, please. So that finishes his quest up. Uh, he will continue to pop up at places to alter our clothes for us but that is the end of his, like, quest quest. And that is, in my opinion, the better ending, because rather than getting, like, the shallow, now I'm not physically ugly ending, where then he also dies immediately after. In this one, he stays alive and learns to think better of himself. So yay for Bach. Oh, this is the, the thing I was thinking of where you see the dragon and everything. That's awesome. Love that. And these guys over here, the freaking like Astaroth Pipers. Very cool. That is definitely one of the things FromSoft does best. Uh, so... Do we need to do while we're here? We have to grab a seedbed curse and then we have to let Dung Eater out of his uh, jail cell. I think. Not somewhere. No, there is another path until we're further in. For some reason I was thinking there is a path I could go this way, but there isn't. We have to go past the Pipers, no matter what. Not that matters, they're not strong. I wish they dropped their horns more often. This is a very rare drop from them. It stinks because it's a fun weapon. Especially the giant one, which is even harder to get because there's only like two of them that have the giant horns. This guy has one, and there's a guy in... Uh, the Halig tree that has one. 
So you basically just have to kill the two of them over and over and over again until they drop them. So this guy isn't too horrible because he's right by a respawn. Well, we're gonna go this way. I think it's like a perfumer or somebody in here. There's someone in here. Oh, it's a page. I knew there was somebody in here. Ow. Who's honking horns at me? So that's a good question. Who is honking horns at me? I thought I killed all the horn guys. Is there one down here? Oh, there is. Okay. Him taken care of and... I'm actually going to be right back. I'm not even going to swap it over to the intermission screen, but I will be right back in half a second. Okay. Oh, this guy dropped something. Maybe he dropped... It's probably just a... Like, white meat or whatever it is they drop. I'm sure it's not a... Horn. Yeah. Stroke of white flesh. Oh, page. Gotta be careful. This is a regular one. I think the other one was a regular one. But there's a couple of pages in here that are like super pages and the crossbows they have are instead of firing once they're like rapid fire and if you get hit by the whole thing it's an instant kill like even if you're like the highest you can be in terms of your uh, endurance and your vitality it'll still like one hit kill you. A lot of these guys running around almost dead. I guess I wasn't doing as much. I thought I was one hit killing them, but maybe some of them I wasn't. We need, I think it's this building. Climb to the top of it. Also, you're real. Try to fool me like that. You're real too. There's a perfumer. I know there was a perfumer in here somewhere. Yep, this is the right building. Okay. Climb all the way to the top of here. And we find another guy like we uh, found before tied to a chair with blood pooled under them. And another seedbed curse. So we have two of those now. Oh. 
You put a shield on that guy. Really? That was your decision, was to put a shield on the dude who can't even... <laughs> even with the shield, I staggered him in the first hit. I guess normally they'd shield each other, but they didn't, weren't given that option, really. Since I killed the first one. We got, uh, Raya's robe. Oh, wait, is this back right? This is right back where I came from. That was dumb. Climb back up here. Next thing we have to do is go down into the sewers and get murdered by ogres for two hours while I look for a dung eater. So before I do that, I want to kind of explore around here a little more. Because there's a ton of stuff hidden in the city. I, I know you're real, dude. Let me hit you. Thank you. if I can backstab that guy without this guy attacking me. Also, one of those crazy super pages is in here, I think. That's a perfumer. No, there he is. He's sitting at the... He's <laughs> sitting at the bar. Let me see. Again. There he goes. Yeah, that. That doesn't look like much, but that will absolutely murder, like, anybody who has, like, below max vitality. Like that. I'm dead. Oh, yeah. um, as I'm leading him back to where I know there's other guys, which is not the smartest thing to do. I know there's other people on this side of this. Oh, actually, that was them. So no, there's not other people. Okay. So I guess there's technically one other guy here. But yeah, that guy's crossbow is bullshit. And it's really bad when he's got the perfumer powering him up like that. Yep, there I go. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. Now I gotta walk all the way back down here to get my souls, and they're in the room that he spawns in. So I should honestly just write off that most of a level up as a lost cause, but I'm stubborn like that, so I'm not going to. Bite my way back in there. page. Just because they can be annoying. Okay, you guys need to stop. Ran past you and let you live.
Maybe your buddy out there didn't attack me. I think these guys might not actually even wake up if I leave them alone, but... I'm not going to risk it. The downstairs of this building that they're in. Yes, it is. It is literally directly below me. See if I can trigger just him without the other guys, which is what I was trying to do before. Does that get just him without the perfumers? I think it does. Question is if he's gonna actually come all the way out here though. Or if I nope, nope he is. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. He's taking care of the perfumers aren't going to be an issue by themselves. Hate those guys. Although this knight's going to be over here again. We don't have the drop on him this time. That didn't seem to matter. Forgot that we are very strong. Also, I know there's a soldier sneaking up behind me, but I'm going to kill this guy before he can get to me. Some Michaela lilies. Okay, so start moving further into the city. Actually, I was going to do that rooftop stuff before I got horribly murdered. So let me go back over there and do that because we can do that before doing the ground level stuff. Let me check over here. What's that? I thought there was another page somewhere. Are you a crazy page or are you a regular page? I think you're a regular page because it doesn't look like he's got the crazy crossbow. And apparently he didn't think he had any crossbow from how he was fighting. He all that's over here. I guess there's a little side path. I'm getting further and further away from my way back up to the roof. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Wow, we're on the main street. Well, I guess we can fight the, uh, what you call it while we're here then. There's a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, bird tree avatar that spawns in around here. And I think there is a, yep, there he is. And I'm pretty sure there is also a, Oh god, he's gonna come murder me. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The, uh... The 
giant fuck you knights. I can't think what they're called. Uh, the ones that have like all the dragon stuff. I'll think of their name eventually. Because they're going to shoot at me, right? Oh, nope, he shot at my little guy. are those knights called? Crucible knights. That's what they're called. Hey, look at that. 30k and a lord rune. Uh, and while we still have this on me, I'm going to try to remember where that crucible knight is. He's definitely down here somewhere. Think through here, maybe. No, not this way. Ow. Ah, there was my shield. There's a spot where there's like a fountain. that way. Gotta be back this way. Should have my horse. Not down there, that's where we came out of. Okay, yeah, it is definitely like right down this way. Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> Completely the wrong direction. I think we can get a sneak hit on, on him. We still had the thing. Nine. I think, yeah, we have a level up in us, too. Here, where does this one go? Where do you take us? Oh, nice. This is a door that would have been locked if we came here from the other way. Yeah, because now we're back in box room. So I'm going to level up real quick, even though that's going to respawn a bunch of people, because I'm not going to run past where they are again. Uh, I do want to get on those roofs, so we are still going to go this way. Wait, not this way. This way, just not that way, that way. Use me. Just gonna come downstairs and murder me while I'm doing this. Okay. Uh, humor. And then upstairs. No need to worry about anybody else in this building. <laughs> this way. 
I think there's are there there's either gargoyles or puppets up here, I think. That I gotta watch out for. One of the two. Oh, it's gargoyles, because there's one. I didn't check if there was an item in that funeral carriage that the Erd Tree Avatar was by. I should have done that. I'll have to do that when I'm down there again. Yeah, I know you're real, dude. I can see you moving. Plus, that's not a spot where anybody's going to put a gargoyle. Over here. No. That no, that's not an item. That's an item over there though. First, we got some gargoyles to kill. You have ooh, stone sword key. Nice. And what do you have? Oh, you have another gargoyle. Big one. Ooh, nice. Well, they really make sure to give you a lot, a lot of runes in Lindell, which makes sense because you can come here way earlier in the game than I did. Like, I did all of this stuff that you can do before coming to the capital first, since... I'm going through and doing all the NPC quests, but theoretically you can come here the second you have two runes. So it's nice that they make sure to give you like all of those tens and twelves and even a couple of hero runes and the Lord's rune and all that, because that'll make sure. And it's the same thing with like all of the uh, seeds that they give you. I think it was six uh, total of the seeds too because that'll also help oh there isn't one on here unless it was this side and i blind yeah no there's not one on here uh to power that up too just to make sure that if somebody comes here way too early that they can get better I think can i open this yet Yes, I can. So we can do uh, burn halls thing. Oh wait, no, this is the wrong direction. This is the this is the gate forward, and I didn't think it was. I thought this was the one. Oh, so again, I gotta go through this one that's got all those freaking people in front of it. Ugh. I thought they were guarding the way out, but I misremembered. Uh, but yeah, when we were doing the Volcano Manor stuff, uh, Burnthal gave us a thing right there. Because it's a duo fight. You know what? Let's do this. Nope. None of that. Where are you quick because I'm not fighting you and two of your little lackey dudes. Oh. Oh, he powered up his sword. I forgot they can do that. Very confused why a regular knight was hitting as hard as one of the big boys. Not open that? Oh, that's right. You have to go around like a real crazy way to get in there. So we might not even be able to do that yet. Well, if we can't, then we can just go do Dung Eater's thing. Nope. No horn.
Apparently that guy still heard it, even though it didn't get off. Him first, so he doesn't uh, give that knight a bubble shield. Almost stun those knights in one combo, but not quite. Oh, here's a thing down into the sewers. I don't think this is the right one. I'm pretty sure the right one we have to climb down a well, but we can do some sewer stuff here. Oh, God, also look at that ch giant hand. Very big hand. Okay, yeah, this is the spot we need to be. Although we also need to get uh, this dead dragon. If you can climb onto his spear, you can chip a piece of it off and make it into a weapon. Oh, how did that miss? There we go. Stupid omen killer. Oh, hey, we got his mask. And also, the reason he is hanging out here is going to become very apparent once we get into the sewers. Oh no, Lionel. And the deathbed dress. So if you remember, uh, when we completed uh, Fia's quest, not only was uh, Roderick with her, but Lionel was also with her. And now we see why, because there's Lionel. <laughs> also, is that Omen guy going to respawn? I think that Omen killer is going to respawn now. Because I don't think he was unique. Nope, he wasn't. This isn't the right spot. There's a spot that looks very similar to this. It's the way down to Dung Eater, but it's not this one. Also, there's a hand right there. Oh, am I, I'm running out of darts. I gotta make more darts. either of you with that. Where was that really big hand? Is it up there? No, it wasn't. Okay. Hand. 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 They give you darts like, hey, stupid, you're supposed to be throwing darts at these things. There's the big one. Is it only on that side? Is there one above me? I'm going to assume there isn't. No, there isn't. Okay. They're not going to pincer me. Eight fighting the big ones, they move so weird. There's a lot of stuff that looks like you should be able to block it and you can't with them.
Okay, we did all that. Did I go all the way to the other end of this? I think I did. Oh, no I didn't, because there was a hand over there. That would have dropped down. Is that like a medium hand? I oh, know it's a baby one again. It looked bigger for some reason. Oh, don't think I went down here because I would have grabbed these butterflies. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, bullshit. Undodgeable grab attacks. That's why those guys in the hands get, around, get along so well. Because they both have bullshit undra undodgeable grab attacks. Ooh, we got Nerd Seal Dagger. I think we have one of those already. I think What's-His-Face gave us one of those. Yeah, we do have one. The uh, guy in Lingrave. That section right there is where I need to be for the, uh, to get to Dung Eater's stuff. I love that this dragon was so big that they couldn't move him after he died. It's like, yeah, no, this, this thing's just going to stay here. lore behind him is pretty neat. He's the uh, only dragon during the war between the uh, Erd Tree and the dragons to actually breach the capital. After which he was killed by uh, Godwin, who then uh, organized a truce with the rest of the dragons. Which is why he's got so much dragon stuff associated with him. Uh, six flasks. Let's rest. Let's rest. Okay. I don't remember what this area that I'm in right now even is. I'm complaining because there's a lot of stuff here. Ooh, a cane sword. <laughs> That's very cool. I love cane swords. Trying to get rid of there. Oh, is this opens the uh I think that opens that door I was trying to get through earlier. Yeah, we're in the court okay, yeah. Uh this is the courtyard of the building I was trying to get into before. So I guess that means we can do uh night burnt all stuff. Or burnt all or Vic. I can't remember if there's an H in his name or not, if it's bugging me. If it's Knight Burnhall or Burnthal. Dog. is over here.
anything out here? Hang on, I'm not gonna do this if there isn't actually an item over there. Look. Nope, there is not. There is an item on top of that, though, that I missed somehow. I have more runes. I probably have a full level up's worth of runes at this point. One of those roof dogs. I'm always got to be on the lookout for the roof dogs. The fabled up dog. It's like a back way into Morgoth's house. I think it is. Oh, there's a gargoyle over there. Let's go fight a gargoyle. That's probably not a horrible idea. It was a horrible idea. Ooh, we got a halberd. Nice. And another seed, which I think. Puts me at the number I need to level that up again. Oh god, you're a bad page. Nope. Nope. I'm not letting you fire that. Yeah, see, that's the scary one with the fancy crossbow. That's the kind we don't want. Yeah, that door is open now. Uh, what do we got over here? We got another knight. Oh, we got two. That one's got a bow up top. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, these guys might kill me. Because that thing missed and I didn't get my hit on this guy. Oh, and I'm out of mana. Is my line client going to do as much damage? I'm dead. Yep. I should have just backed up, healed, and drank a, a blue potion. I got greedy. Right direction. that kill me? I bet that'll kill me and I'll waste those 40 souls. Oh, hey, it didn't kill me. Let's see if this one will. No, awesome. I am pleasantly surprised by that. Oh, also, okay, so the that one triggers sooner. That's kind of annoying. I also gotta remember those dogs are alive again if I go too far that way. God, he's got some range on that thing. I was hoping if I went far enough out this way that he wouldn't be able to hit me and I can do my one-on-one -on -one fight. I think it makes more sense to go to the side than out. There we go, that hit that time. Oh, we got the gravel stone. Seal. Okay, I have fought these guys before because I've had that. That's a good seal to use if you use uh, the uh, magic that's given to you by uh, Gronk, the beast priest guy, beast cleric. over here by the dead dragon. Bet you there's something up in there where I have to parkour off his foot to get to. 
Yep, there is an item in there. You can see it in the window. We have to get up on top of here. Yeah, okay. And then here. Oh, there's two items in here. Nice, another stone sword key. Okay. If I climb his foot, it doesn't look like there is, but... Oh, there's something in the back there, though. We got back here. Gravel stone. Old Fang. All right. Let's go in here and do a uh, Burnt All's quest. Also, look, it's the round table. Just the version of it that isn't in the like secret round table area. Also, there's uh, Albert's stuff. He's one of he's the uh, third one that Fia sicked on us. So the implication is kind of like she kills D, then she kills Roderick, then she flees from the fake round table into the real one kills Albrecht, and then goes out into the city and kills uh, what's his face? Rolly Poly. So that she can have souls to defend her. Get how to get to that. I think I gotta get to that from going upstairs somewhere else. I see an item hiding back there. Mid level Smith and Stone. We got a painting. Grab that. Lightless bird. And I'll figure out how to get that other item after we do this invasion. Raging Wolf is ours. Got him. Okay, now you take care of yours, Burnthal. Or Burnthal, whichever you are. Or I'll just do it for you, I guess. Ow. Come dude, you let him heal beat mine like 10 minutes ago. Finish your guy off. God, no wonder he asked for our help. Alright, so that's one more pair of good upstanding people murdered to finish that quest line. See when we get up to that. Wonder if that's something I can get up to by like wrapping around there somewhere. I'm sure it probably is, but if that's the one I want. I want to get to one where I'm inside of that spear. Okay, yeah. The spear is down that way. I 
Oh, there is a bunch of items on the way there, too. This, oh, this is where we fought the gargoyle. Oh, you're not dead. The way they, like, spin away when you hit them, I think, is also part of what makes me think they're dead on top of the fact that I reduce them to such a tiny piece of life. Because it looks like it's a death animation, but it's not. It's just their weird spin. So I think over here... Yep, there he is. So this guy is the only one of these guys in the game that respawns. So if you want to get their armor, you basically just have to kill this guy over and over again. Because all of the other ones you fight don't respawn. Grave Duelist, or whatever they're called. I was going to say Grave Knight, but I know they're not Grave Knight. I'm going to assume it's Grave Duelist because it said Duelist. I don't think, I think even this one doesn't respawn if I remember right. I think only one of them does. Oh, though he didn't give me anything, so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they both respawn. Got a Ritual Seal Talisman. What does that one do? Raises defense when your HP is all the way up. It's a good one to use uh, with a weapon like Rikard's sword that refills your health when it hits people. Oh, yeah, there's a uh, gold mask and corn. Let's do their thing while we're here. I don't think I'm sequence breaking to do them before. Dung Eater. Let me check. Uh, no, I'm not. Talk to Corn and Gold Mask come to Cliffs near the West Rampart. Oh, yeah, this is where we Master, learn is the Please, really interesting secret about America and Radigan. I must be the one to record them. What matters this issue of Radigan, really? The Earth Tree. Hey, we got a star fist. Lies before our very eyes. Why must these qualms come to you now? We were on the very cusp. So as we just heard as I was going around collecting stuff, Corin doesn't understand why Goldmask is apparently worried about something with Radigan. So oh, was that you? Sorry. I hardly noticed. I'm a little shaken since the master ceased his movements. About the noble gold the mask. Master's reflections had heightened as we neared the Erd tree. While still a precise calculus, the rhythms grew increasingly wild until he simply ceased. Now the master is facing quite the puzzle. The golden order is founded on the principle that Marika is the one true god. However, the name of Marika's second husband, King Consort Radigan, also appeared. Who exactly was Radigan? The master is stumped. His finger has remained still ever since Radigan's name was discovered. Curse my mediocre mind. The master only has me. And here I fail him. Who exactly was the master? His finger has remained... But the earth, uh, why we were on the. F so, Gold Mask, while studying up on the history of the Golden Order, discovered something talking about Radigan while talking about the God of the Order. And it's confusing him very much because the God of the Order isn't Radigan, it's America. So the next part of his quest will be uh, reconciling that and figuring out what happened there. Which we can do uh, in a little bit, probably not this stream, but before too long we can get that done because we need a special prayer book that's hidden uh, 
near where uh, Morgat, the guy that's the king of Landell, who definitely is not have any relation to Mar to Margot, despite having a very similar name and totally is not the same guy. Uh, his chambers, there's like a book hidden that we need to find to do the next part of Gold Mask's quest, so. Won't be doing that quite yet. Oh god, I forgot about you. Uh, won't be doing that quite yet, but at least we got that part of it done, so we're going to backtrack as much for it. Where did we see that? I already forgot where his dumb spear was. I think I need to go out and around. Is this the door? This is the door. Is that a dog? Sneak, sneak, sneak. That thrust attack is nasty. But at least that one didn't have his sword glowing that time. Oh, though he does. Okay. Yeah, there's the spear. So we have to go... Oh, in that way that I was going that other time. We just have to go up these stairs instead of around the back like we did before. Okay, you need to cool it off with the crossbow, dude. Eight tarnished gold sunflowers. It's kind of hanging out there. Okay. How do I get over to that? Ow. Well, a knight saw me. Where is he? Oh, there he is. I was hoping that would hit both of them. Good block, dude. Is that everybody up here? Okay. No more surprises. Uh, let me go read what that message was over here. Behold precious item. Okay. So does that mean we can get it from there, or is he talking about the item on the gazebo roof? I might have to jump down from wherever up there is. Got over here. Oh, hell. Missed. Why is one of you here? Man, 
and I'm dead. I'm trying to counter his moves when I should be healing. Uh, that means I gotta fight through 10,000 of those guys again. Stuff like that almost, not quite, but almost makes me miss Dark Souls 2. Just because as many things that were wrong and bad with that game, it did have the whole thing of uh, when you killed an enemy a certain number of times, they just stopped respawning, which was very nice. Oh, I think I can drop down to it from over there, which it looks like I can get to if I climb that. Let me do that, and then I can go from there to getting my items back. Ow. I'm this. I think is going to take us to Morgoth's freaking bedroom, which I really didn't want to get to yet, but... Hopefully we can go around without having to fight his security system. Which is my main reason I didn't want to do it. Especially when I have all those souls waiting. people up here. There an item down that way, I think there was. Let's go get that. Holy grease. You know I gotta climb that whole part of that tree again, but at least there's not people on it now. Oh. Except this guy, wherever he came from. I guess maybe he was lower down. I don't like the guys <laughs> having despawned because I keep catching glimpses of them out of the corner of my eye and thinking they're still alive. Can we go in here without... I don't think we can go in there without triggering a fight that I really don't want to trigger. <sighs> well, let's just go get our runes back and then go in the sewers then. I can get the dragon spear later. Because if we go in there, we trigger the security system, which is basically like more to put it in a way that doesn't spoil what it is for people who still haven't played this game three years in. Uh, he basically has what I would call weaponized daddy issues. And I don't want to deal with that, so we're not going to go that way. Because I don't know if I can beat that fight without dying and losing all my runes. But I do wonder if that jump will kill me. I think it probably will, because there's my runes right there. I think that jump will kill me, so we're not going to try it. That jump will also probably kill me. I don't think this one will. Nope. So glad they always leave with that move.
All right, let's fight 900 of these guys again. Ooh, ow. Oh, right, the lion. Fuck me, the lion. I forgot what killed me the last time. Still chasing me. Okay, now the lion gave up, but everybody else is still here. the lion. <laughs> Can you fit through that? Ow. It looks like you should be able to fit through that, but I don't think you can. Should have hit you. Okay. Ninety percent of the population of Blendell. Oh, he got his partisan. That's actually a decent weapon if you like uh, spears. One sword key. Go back upstairs. Let those guys do what they're going to do. Did I ever figure out if there was anything over this way? I don't think I did. I think I just saw a lion and panicked and left. Ooh, Golden Rune 10. Heroes Rune 2. Nice, nice. Hmm. No item ahead. Well, that's not how we get over to there. That's just letting us know that that's there. Oh, we can get to that by going down from the other side. So I'll do that later. What? Over here somewhere was the way to the... that other section of Burnt Out City where we need to go for Dung Eater's thing, but maybe it's not. What we got over here? Ow. Oh my god. 
just a bunch of regular dudes, but it was way more of them than I thought were here. I don't know where they all came from. I expect him to get jumped by like 30 normal guys. Better be something really good in that. What is this item? A spitting stone for. Yeah, that was not worth that fight. That was not worth that fight. when I get the timing right on something like that. Oh, got another gargoyle. That's one of the crappy ones where his legs are broke so we can just get around him. A level up. Oh, that looks like you should be able to fit. Let's see what's down here. Nothing. Oh, golden rune eleven on that guy though. Okay. Uh. So let's teleport back to let's see what Avenue Balcony was. Because I think we actually need to be on the dragon side, not the spear side. The dragon side, yes it is. Yeah, I think this is where I need to be. did more than half of my health. I gotta hurry and heal because there's another one coming behind me. God, those arrows do not mess around. <laughs> Maybe I should have three flasks of uh, Cerulean Tears. In here somewhere. In like one of these broken sections. Hey, there's that gargoyle we killed earlier. There's like a well. Like the freaking well from the ring, and we have to climb down it. So I don't remember exactly where it is. But it's in this, like, destroyed section where the dragon landed. We might have to climb over part of him. Maybe it's down in there. Okay, yeah, it's down in there because there are some of those baghead guys. Oh, in fact, there's the well right, literally right there. Why can I not target you? I know you're real. There we go. Oh, there he... That beetle's a trap. There's like... Several of those guys that he triggers. Is there only two? Maybe he also triggers this one, but I already killed it. It's gonna 
look around in here a little more, even though I know I'm means I'm likely to get attacked by more of those guys. Just because I want to grab any items that might be here before I head down into the sewer. Ooh, like that item right there. I think zone five. Not great, but not terrible. It's one less one we'll have to buy if I want to power up another weapon later. That is all of the uh, creepy guys. Oh, here's the church. Yes, we were like right here. It's literally right around the corner from where we were. Oh. And I see why I didn't see it, because that corner doesn't go where it should. So how do I get back to where I just was? Did I do that? I didn't feel like I dropped down anything I needed to climb, but maybe I did. Did I go down this? Why did I just do that? I guess I dropped down a drop down. Which means I am now not by that thing again. Though I can drop into the sewer and go back that way. Okay, which direction was the climb out? Not that way, I don't think. Yep, this way. I swear I didn't drop down anywhere, but I guess I must have to block myself off from going back. There was like just enough of a lip. Okay, so it's literally right here. Eee. Turn on. These mice are running away. Welcome to the subterranean shunning grounds, which is where the people of the capital would toss anybody that was born an omen. So there are like 9,000 omens down here and they're very strong. Like that one right there. 
the, the cool thing about the ones down here is uh, they don't have their horns uh, shaved down like the couple of omens you see upstairs do. So it gives them a very cool look. That being said, they can still totally horribly murder you. Remember where the... I have a lot of souls to be trusting that I can remember where stuff is down here. Oh my god, I do so little damage to him. That's a grab. Okay, so that I think can be opened later. There's more of them right there. Ugh. Oh, right here, I think. I think this is a... Yes. I won't lose all my runes. Okay, so let's allocate that. Let's do 10 and 3. And then level up. Let's see, so I'm at 16, I need 97, so I need 81,000. Let's see what we have. That's 50,000. That's 85. So if I take, if I eat these two big ones, I can level up again. Ranked up to 45 there. Okay. We are gonna run this way and go for a open grate. There it is. That rat had a rune arc on it. Now this whole place down here is a maze. There are so many different paths and passageways, but luckily the way to uh, Dung Eater is pretty simple compared to a lot of it. Hoping that can't hit me while I'm on a ladder. Okay. Remember right, yep, there's a bunch of hands in here, but these ones don't respawn. So once we kill them, they're gone. any of you. How am I not hitting any of you? There we go. <laughs> that was very confusing. Oh, big hand. Right. I was just looking at it like, what are those things that look like alien eggs? They were big fingers. I'm gonna die here. Yep. It's got a thing, and I... Part of me likes that they do it, and part of me doesn't, but there are several enemies that uh, the developers coded in attacks that they can instantly go into if you use your uh, flask. And that sweep attack is one of them. Like you saw there, the hand canceled out of one of its other moves in order to do that sweep to hit me because I hit the button to hit the heal. Which I like that they punish you for healing in inopportune areas, but 
I don't like that like they can literally cancel themselves out of other moves to do it. Especially because anytime a player finds like a move cancel they can use in our side of stuff, they end up patching it out in the next patch. little ones came from. I didn't think the little ones respawned. I know the big one doesn't, but I didn't think any of them did. Also, hey, look, it's the real Dung Eater. Let me out. Let me out of here. Come, must eat more. Defile more. Every, who are you? Leave your jail. Been here long enough. I will kill again, and defile each corpse with care. <laughs> Just to be sure that when they're reborn, they'll be cursed, along with their children, and their children's children, for all time to come. I will kill just to be hell be cursed. Yeah, he definitely seems like a nice, stable person. Uh, I check something really quick. want to make sure there's a thing I can do at this point that will make it so he can't be summoned for a fight where he's really good to summon for and I don't want to accidentally do it. Okay, yeah, so I do have to do the next part before I do the next part of his thing. So we've let him go. We have to go back to the round table now, but then we can't do any more of his quest after that or he won't be available as a summon. So we're going to pop back to the round table and go to where uh, Spirit Dung Eater was there, and then I think I'll end the stream at that because we're at just about two hours. I have anything new for them. Let me see if there's anything I can do with any of my ashes or anything. I can't hear them anymore. The voices of the spirits cowering from the curse. I suppose the Dung Eater must have left the round table. I just pray nothing ill comes of this. It's fine. Uh, also, make my wolves stronger. Thank you. Wow, so my wolves are only at a plus seven, and they did that oh, good against that tree spirit. Don't pay me any. Just lay out your... Let's see. Bring in any of these. I need four eighths. Four... I don't need threes for that one. And two sevens, so I can't do anything with those. Alright, let's go check Dung Eater's spot. Let's see if Gideon has anything to say. Nope, nothing new on him. I'll defile you next. Come to the outer moat. And we're not going to do that. We're not going to go to the outer moat. Because we need his help fighting a uh, particularly annoying boss to fight. 
otherwise. But I'm gonna end the stream there. Uh, pop our ring of Mikola up here. Do a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, let me see if I remember to turn on Nightbot. Hey, I did. Uh, so yeah, as uh, Nightbot just showed there, this is the official uh, Twitch channel of the uh, podcast Pot Against the Machine. It is a Pathfinder first edition tabletop role playing game uh, actual play podcast uh, where myself and four others are playing through Pathfinder first edition. Uh, we are playing the Iron Gods adventure path. It is a fun little adventure involving uh, barbarians and aliens and robots and just very uh, old school like Robert E. Howard style throwback. Uh, we are currently in the 160s in the episodes, which is a lot, but maybe give a listen to the beginning, see if you like it. And if so, you got plenty to listen to in the future. Uh, we also just recently started a uh, quick little side one shot that's been releasing on Sundays. Uh, where Izzy, another member of the pod who isn't our usual GM, uh, is playing the rest of us through a Monster of the Week one-shot. Uh, so maybe give that a listen, too. Uh, and I think that's just about it. Thanks for stopping by, and goodbye. Pod against the machine.